have already prepared about the pre-erythrocytic cycle, exerythrocytic cycle, post-erythrocytic cycle. Now today we are going to be the discuss about the what sexual reproduction of the plasmodium. Sexual reproduction of plasmodium. Actually, we are seeing sexual reproduction used to take place in the mosquito. Yes, it's okay that sexual reproduction takes place in the mosquito, but it uses to be the start from the human beings only. As we have studied before this one, in the human most plasmodium uses to perform. That is the what happen um, perform or sexual reproduction in the human beings, but sexual reproduction takes place in the mosquito but it uses to be the start in the human beings only it is to start in the human beings so first of all we are going to be discuss what step happened in the human beings so human beings it does the formation of gametocyte in the sexual reproduction if you are talking sexual reproduction of plasmodium sexual reproduction of plasmodium the first step what happened that is the formation of gametocyte formation of gametocyte and formation of gametocyte is to be the occurred in the what in the body of the human beings what happened as we have stated in the erythrocytic cycle so that mero joint used to be the comes out from the RBC again it uses to affect to the RBC and it will continue the erythrocytic cycle but in the some of the cases what happen when the RBC is infected by the mero joint this is not going to be the continue as usual erythrocytic cycle it is not going to be continue as usual erythrocytic cycle so what it does it does the formation of gametocyte it is to form the gametocyte. Gametocyte doesn't means that is the gamete. This is also called gamont. Means it is the such type of the cell which is capable to form the gamete. Which is capable to form the gamete. So in this what are happened, the RBC is going to be the infected by the mirojoid. Suppose that this is the RBC. Some of the RBC is going to be infected by the mirojoid, and this RBC used to be the comes out from the there is the mirojoid going to be the infected. Yes, this is the suppose that mirojoid and it enters inside the RBC. The RBC. Then after what will happen? This RBC comes out from the blood circulation and it going to be the stay in the either spleen or in the marrow means marrow is to we are saying in the bone marrow there it is going to be there means it comes out from the blood circulation and it is going to be the stay there in the either spleen and in the marrow for the maturation as a result there are two types of gametocytes used to be the form one beacon that is the what large in size large in size as well as it is the large in number large in size and large in number it is the more numerous and near about its size is the 10 to 12 micrometer in this one what happen if you see the parasite its nucleus is going to be the small in size peripherally placed but it is the compact Perfectly placed, it is the compact and its cytoplasm is laden. Its cytoplasm is laden with the food materials. Laden with the food materials. It is the large in size, so it is called macrogametocyte. This is called macrogametocyte. And this maturation takes place where you can remember it is not in the blood circulation after infection with the mirojoid which is not going to be the clear the usual erythrocytic cycle it is going to be the lost into the either spleen or in the marrow means bone marrow 
there is the another side what will happen some of the it will be the remain a small in size and less in number a small in size but less in number in this one nucleus is the large in size cell is the small in size but nucleus becomes the large in size laterally placed nucleus but it is the diffuse type diffused type and cytoplasm is the clear but it is the small in size near about 9 to 10 micrometer and this has given the name microgametocyte microgametocyte it is the small in size that's why it is called microgametocyte and this microgametocyte is capable to form the male gamete macrogametocyte will form the female gamete it will form the male gamete it will form the female gamete and this gametocyte is also called gamut gametocyte is also called gamut and it have near what it takes the 96 hours to complete average it takes the 96 hours to complete this is happened sexual reproduction of plasmodium in human beings which is a comes under the formation of gametocyte after this one when microgametocyte macrogametocyte has been formed it comes in the blood circulation and especially it leads into the superficial blood vessel